Hello everyone, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video. In today's video, I will be covering Goss and his build guide in 2021. Now, Goss is a very, very good Warframe. He uses all four of his abilities to do damage and to increase and buff himself and his weapons as well. Now, of course, you have to keep in mind that he is not really a team player. He is mostly a solo Warframe player. And uh, his abilities, you know, I guess, uh, boost that uh, playstyle. Now, going to his abilities, we have his passive, moving generates an electrical current that fills Goss's battery. I will talk about that in a second. Shields recharge up to 120% faster, while the recharge delay is up to 80% shorter based on the battery level. Now, his abilities go such as Mock Rush, which, I guess, accelerates Goss to really high speeds and if you crash into something you will do an aoe blast now you do have little bolts around you to fly and do damage so keep that in mind and of course this charges hit battery you can press it to rush a certain distance a small little distance and of course you can just you know uh, hold it down for a couple seconds to make mock rush just run constantly we have kinetic plating which is the second ability which generates armor plating that converts a portion of absorbed kinetic damage so physical heat cold and the blast into energy uh, the conversion rate is five percent and i think that is not changeable to be perfectly honest with you and uh, this also protects ba uh, gauss which can reach up to 100 percent damage resistance is relative to the battery level so if your battery is at 100 percent your damage reduction is at 100%. Now, this doesn't mean you're going to be invulnerable, just that, that for example, if, let's say an enemy shoots you for 15 damage, you're not going to take 15, you're going to take much, much less. We have a Thermal Sunder, which is his third ability. Pressing it will do a cold proc in a certain area, and uh, it, of course, drains your battery. And, of course, if you hold it, it will generate a heat proc, which, of course, you know, reduces enemy armor, which is very, very good. And then combining the two will, of course, give you blast damage. Now... Uh, you have to keep in mind, this is a pretty good damage ability, but you're not going to rely only on this ability. You can, if you want, create a max range, max sort of max damage build with him, and then just level him up a little bit faster uh, with this, because if you watched my Warframe leveling guide, uh, killing enemies with your Warframe's abilities goes, and the affinity goes mostly to your Warframe. And we have red line. So this pushes Goss's battery above the red line. You have bolts that run around you and do damage to enemies. And of course you move insanely fast. And it increases the fire rate, attack speed, reload speed, holster rate as well. Which is very, very good. Now, moving on to the weapons. Because the weapons are very important here. Now, honestly, uh, I use the Cedo. Uh, the secondary is not that important. I will be showing you the builds, of course. And we have the Cronin Prime. So, for my Cedo, I use just a basic shotgun build right here. That's how it looks like if you want to check it out. One form of build. And this is what it looks like for my Cronin Prime. As you can see, two form of build, of course. And this is what it looks like. Now, weapons that I would recommend you use. Let's say, because he is obtainable pretty early on in the game. Weapons that you can use is, for example, the Corinth. That is a good weapon. The Excelltra is pretty good because you can get it alongside him. This is his, I guess, main weapon. And here, I'll actually show how it works with him. And you also can use it with any sort of rifle because, of course, it does increase the firing speed. He is very good at idle on hunting because he can increase the fire rate and the reload speed of of course, the sniper rifles. Sorry, not the reload speed, I think, if I'm correct. Uh, attack speed. Yeah, reload speed as well. Yeah, mixed it up a little bit. Sorry. And uh, or sort of any little weapon. I usually sometimes use him with the Kuba Brahma, which is really good because, of course, it increases the, I guess, bow's charge up rate. You can also use it with a weapon that I do use uh, occasionally. I actually starting to love this weapon is the Probosis Cernos. And basically, 
uh, you can just use him with any sort of weapon. I would maybe recommend even the Exultra if you're a new player, if you get this weapon, because it's going to be pretty, pretty cool. And of course, for the melee weapon, you can honestly use anything with Condition Overload. This is going to be very good. If you have the Condition Overload, you know, use anything you possibly can. For example, lower tier weapons, such as the Legion, let's say. You can also get the Galatine Prime. I think that's not that expensive, so you can use it with that. You can use it with the Orthos Prime, which is pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure of that. And virtually any sort of uh, Condition Overload weapon is going to be very, very good with him. So let's just demonstrate with the Legion. I think I did update my build, if I'm correct. Yes, I did. And uh, there you go. So basically, what you're going to do is summon enemies. I'm going to summon level, level 100 enemies just to, you know, make it a little bit fun, I guess. So activating your second ability so, you know, you do not take damage. And then charging up your rally just by holding down your first key at 100%. And we are at 100% damage reduction. So as you can see, you know, just basically kill enemies. Now, I do not have my two or second active. Just going to gather some enemies by letting the enemies shoot me. Moving around and activating my first ability, of course. My cat died there, but we're just going to ignore that. So holding out my three. As you can see, that's going to reduce the enemy's armor. And then pressing the three again, just pressing it, not holding it, will do a blast AoE. And as you can see, the enemies are dying surprisingly fast. Now you might be asking why. Well, that is because of the fire proc. This guy is not dying as fast because... Of course, I didn't do my judicial duty, and uh, I didn't really activate my, I guess, third ability on him. So, you know, just holding down the three again, doing another fire proc, and then pressing your three, doing a little bit more damage. And once you feel like it, activate your fourth ability, and as you can see, the rifle, or any kind of weapon that you use, is going to fire crazy fast, as you can see, like this. So, holding down your three again, reducing the enemy's armor, rushing just to increase the battery level, and I'm just gonna spam it a little bit, you know, just run around, keep that battery at 100%. As you can see, shoot the enemy. You know, pretty plain and simple. You just have to run around and, you know, play to his abilities. Enemies can't really hit you if you're moving that fast, and plus, if even if they do, you're gonna get energy back, you're gonna get, of course, damage reduction, activating my heat proc, these guys surprisingly somehow died activating my second ability you do have a chance of actually freezing them so keep that in mind and that is mostly it let's just continue on showing you this you know simulate some more enemies going on you know staggering them holding on my three key holding down or pressing sorry my second key and as you can see once they fall down as you can see that guy was frozen so activating my three key again uh, it is a pretty good ability you have to activate your second ability so be careful that you do not accidentally you know forget to activate that and then you die and then you're like oh my god this game is lying to me the damage reduction is awful and uh, you have to keep in mind I it did happen sometimes to me that I accidentally forgot completely to activate my second ability so I died a couple of times so as you can see activating my fourth ability going above the red line currently not because I'm not using my first ability so run around a little bit you know Charging up that above so your damage reduction is pretty good holding on your three key pressing it again Just doing extra damage staggering the enemies and doing more damage to the all that on the ground of course And then just pretty much basically killing them pretty easily now I don't know if you saw there that guy actually didn't have any uh, Armor on him because I stripped all of his armor now the armor stripping is not awesome because of the power strength itself If the power strength was much higher and the level of the enemies which much lower you would have killed them much, much faster and shipped more of their armor. So let's summon level 50 enemies. This is going to be something that you're going to be, you know, facing almost like on a daily basis. So these enemies are a little bit lower level. So holding on my three key and then pressing it. As you can see, you do much more damage at lower levels. And as you can see, I'm just doing this with my legion and nothing else, not even using my primary weapon. And as you can see, they pretty much died. So lower level enemies. Or virtually nothing to goss, but don't go too high because if I summon level 150 level enemies, uh, you have to keep in mind you are relying on your weapons that you have. So, you know, you're not relying on your Warframe's abilities, you're not relying on anything, you, you are relying just on goss's abilities and your Warframe's weapons mostly, not on, of course, goss himself. Now, activating red line. Just increase the fire rate, but as you can see, even if I try to shoot enemies, it's not going to do significant damage, and I died. Even with that damage reduction, but I didn't really do a good job because I didn't charge up my battery to 100%. So, let's charge up to 100% and show you how this works. So, activating my 3 again, 
you have to keep in mind that this drain your battery so always keep that in mind and as you can see they do ta take a little bit of damage so you know you can just slice them and dice them uh, it is useful at higher tiers but you have to be much much more careful of course you're not going to be facing these many uh, corrupted heavy gunners but you know just keep that in mind reducing the armor a little bit you know attacking them uh, this is the legion of course if i was using the crone they would be dead much much faster so moving along because my battery is not at 100 percent it is now as you can see slice them and dice them activate my three you know again and do the armor reduction activate my three again and then hold it do the actual blast damage to stagger them and kill them while they are on the ground and pretty much that is Goss's playstyle that is mostly what you have to do you just have to move around a lot you have to damage a lot of enemies and uh, just keep on rolling, I guess. That is mostly it, what I have to say. So just keep on rolling and killing enemies as fast as you possibly can. And of course, he is really good at doing fast missions because of his speed that he has. So, yeah, that is mostly it. That is Goss's build in general. I haven't actually showed you the build. I'm very sorry about that. And this is what it looks like. Corrosive projection as the aura. The aura that I would switch out for this, if I were you, is going to be Swift Momentum, which is going to increase your heavy attack wind-up speed. This is going to be good for weapons such as uh, any kind of slash-based weapon, for example, is going to be pretty good. And of course, it's going to be pretty good with the Redeem Your Prime. So you can switch this up and it does increase the combo duration as well. So you have that. But for our mods itself, we have Prime Continuity, Augur Message and Constitution for Duration because the con duration is very, very important. We have Umbral Intensify. Instead of Umbral Intensify, you could put, uh, let me just show you, you could put Transient Fortitude. But the thing is, it's going to reduce your uh, damage, sorry, not damage reduction, but your duration a little bit. So keep that in mind. So don't, you know, uh, you can definitely use it. I'm not saying you can't. I was using uh, Transient Fortitude a long time, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, but I forgot I have Umbral Intensify, so yeah, definitely you can switch these two out if you want to. We have Flow for Energy, but it's not maxed out, this is just going to mean you're going to get and have more energy, so, you know, stored up. We have Streamline for Efficiency, Stretch for Range, because it is very important for your abilities. We have Vitality for Health, of course, and that is what the build looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I see a lot of you guys not subscribed, why don't you guys, come on. I try to make daily content, well, weekly, I guess, but, you know, I do try my best, uh, and uh, I try to help out as many people as I possibly can. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share on platforms if you want to show your friends some kind of a dude, uh, you know, showing Warframe videos. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. This has been the Gaming Weasel, over and out.